Listen, good morning to you. What a good day. What a happy day. What a joyous day. Uh, when is your birthday? Yeah, I'll ask you, when is your birthday? Is either it gone or it coming? However, uh, what do you do to celebrate your birthday? That's the real question. When is your birthday? That's a mathematical question, right? It will come around or it has passed. But the real question is, what do you do to celebrate your birthday? Uh, now, I have some suggestions to offer. I have some suggestions to offer. Uh, first of all, whenever your birthday comes around, please remember to examine your religion and compare it with the Ten Commandments and the Bible. Yeah, examine your religion and compare it uh, to the Ten Commandments and the Bible. See whether or not you're wasting time or it makes sense. Uh, then, uh, examine your relationship with God. Not religion, no, your relationship with God. And examine your relationship with those you associate with on a daily basis. Because, uh, listen, uh, your relationship with those you associate with on a daily basis uh, if it is good, uh, it can very well be most likely your relationship with God is good. Because uh, the good book, the Bible says that, listen, I must not talk about loving God who I cannot see and I can't love those who I see. Uh, so on your birthday, examine your relationship with God and your relationship with those you associate with on a daily basis. And listen, man. If your relationship with your wife, your children, uh, your co-workers, your neighbors, if it is not good, well, do something to fix it. Don't let the birthday pass just like that. Uh, the next thing on your birthday, you must examine uh, how healthy you must ask yourself how healthy you are. Well, you need a doctor's help to do that. Uh, then uh, you must ask yourself how well are your body parts functioning, your organs and your body parts. Ask yourself that also. Well, doctors again have to help you with that. Uh, then, what has the aging process done to you? Because every birthday, you're aging. And the aging process, you know, is very unkind to some of us. Uh, it causes some of us to lose our hair, uh, some of us our jaw, it get more hard, your face wrinkle, your teeth drop out, all types of things, right? Uh, so uh, you must uh, focus on that also. And those of you who say uh, that age uh, is just a number, no, age is not just a number, man. As you age, uh, listen, your body looks different. And you and the mirror, you all know that very well, right? Uh, then on your birthday, uh, you must examine and you must take a check at the mat in Psalm 90 that says uh, three score and ten, that's what you have. So whatever is your age, you must put three score and ten, 70 at the top or 80 by reason of strength and subtract and see what reasonably you may have left. Uh, then uh, as, you, as you are on your birthday, you need to check on finished business and you need to decide now if you will finish that project or you may have to pass it on to someone else because you are aging. Accept, accept that. Uh, then, uh, on your birthday, you need to make sure you do some acts of kindness to people. And then finally, listen to this one. Finally, let the glory go to God because you got a chance to see another day. You didn't give yourself oxygen and cause yourself to be alive. So I am saying on your birthday, you need to look up to heaven and give praise and glory to God. You know, all these beauty queen and these bodybuilders, uh, listen, uh, they, they, they're not fair to God, you know. They need to stop and give God the credit for winning what they have won. And I am saying on your birthday, you need to pause and give God the credit for bringing you thus far. Text for birthday, uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 27. It says uh, that they should seek the Lord. Yes, that they should seek the Lord. If happy, they may feel after him and find him, uh, though he be not far 
from every one of us. And the real text is, for in him, verse 28 of Acts 17, for in him we live and move and have our being. For in him we live and move and have our being. So in celebrating your birthday, remember to give God the glory and praise because he is the one that gave you a chance to see another birthday. Our God and Father, thanks ever so much for giving somebody an opportunity to see another birthday. It is because of your goodness to them. Help, O oh God, that whoever that person is, uh, they may experience joy on that day. And if they have not found you as yet, may they examine their life and make a decision to live the life uh, based on the Ten Commandments and the Bible. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless you on your birthday.